I have to swallow the fact that I just got married to someone I'm about to lose. My name is Laura, and I have stage three breast cancer. My hair was kind of my everything. I, I was voted most likely to be seen in a Pantene commercial in high school. <laughs> and to lose my hair stripped me of my identity almost. My cancer is aggressive and it's called a K7. And it's so aggressive that it hasn't been seen in decades. It went from nothing to five centimeters almost overnight. Uh, if they would have operated on it, I would have had, I would have bled out and died. And then they tell me, um, the surgeon tells me there's a possibility for being on chemo for the rest of my life. Because if this cancer has, it's been filtering through my entire body and it is everywhere. If the chemo I'm taking right now doesn't get it all and it has the um, chance to, for the cells to divide and attach, I'm in big trouble. I feel very ugly without hair. Um, sorry. Uh, my voice is raspy and that's because of the chemo. And there's a chance that I won't get that back. I'm a singer. I, think I did not think for a second that it would happen to me. I have such an incredible family. My girls are my strength more than anything. There was a bigger picture. He knew that one day I was gonna need a family because I was gonna, I was gonna be fighting for my life. I'm gonna, I'm going to make a difference in somebody's life. If it's not just my own, or my daughter's, or my my grandson is my life. And it kills me that that I have to think that maybe I won't see him. I might not even see him reach kindergarten. And my daughters. I want to see both of them get married and I want to enjoy being married. I've only been married a year in December. But I can't, I'm not, it's not about me. It's about taking my cancer, living with it and doing something about it for somebody else. Because if my time is limited and I don't make it, at least I know I took the time I did have here and did something with it that made somebody else go a little bit further. I shouldn't be here. I should be bedridden. I don't want to die. But I'm not scared to die. And knowing that I'm going to be okay because He's got to be with me everywhere I go, or I would not be sitting here. I now know what joy is. That whole joy is something you, you can only get by believing. You can't experience joy unless you believe because there is no other joy like that. If you could have seen me before and know me now, after after finding finding Jesus is it. my life is amazing. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me these these things that I have to go through because you're making me better. You know, every time I cross another hurdle, every time I get another perfect lab result, I say thank you <laughs> because you you are making me stronger. Yeah, I may be dying. I may have the, the longest road ahead of me that isn't going to get any easier, and, but it might. But I don't care. I was shampooing carpets and, and praising God on my knees, shampooing my carpets for no reason at all, just because, and, and that is unexplainable joy right there. I tell
tell him thank you. <laughs> thank you because you're make, he's making me an incredibly better person. It made dying not so bad. If you stop and think about what life is like when Christ is in you, you get excited. He said, go forth and make disciples. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But I'm doing my job. I want to, I want to show people what Christ can do. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared. There's a reason why we are here. To know that God is with you is the most incredibly comforting thing in the world. If you're not a believer, learn to be a believer. Find a church. Find God. Because there's no other comfort. I, I, that's not me helping. That's Jesus working through me. Hope is your most important. You can't have faith without hope. You can't have any of those things without Jesus. And, and to know that there's somebody that's, that's walking with you, uh, that's all you're going to need. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Without God in my life, I would not love myself. And I'm now facing a battle of trying to save my life. But in trying to save my life, I'm remembering who gave it to me in the first place. And I'm going to share that with somebody else. I'm going to take the life that I still have by the grace of God. And I'm going to make it something that's purposeful. So I still have things to do. <laughs> I'm just happy.